um yeah in order to assign ip addresses uh dynamically actually this is done uh, over the local area network that is the lan okay yeah we need the dhcp server stands for dynamic host configuration protocol yeah, and it helps assign ip addresses dynamically you don't have the same ip address over the time most of the time these ip addresses are assigned on the local area network we use private ip addresses on lands and you should note uh, when each device is connected to the LAN, that is the local area network, it, it must request an IP address by sending the request to the DHCP server that assigns an IP address to the system for a fixed length of time. And that fixed length of time is known as lease. Um, yeah you are likely to receive a different uh, that is a di dynamic ip addresses but usually in the same range of 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255 if uh, uh, in this case if you want uh, uh, class c because this is a class c ip address all right Let's continue. <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with my presentation. Okay. All right. Oh, this uh, tutorial was supposed to end here. But let's proceed with the nut. All right. Uh, now let's look at uh, network address translation. That is nut. Actually, it's a protocol which helps to translate an internal, a private IP address, to an external, that is a public IP address that can uh, be routed through the internet to its de destination. Yeah, this NAT device and uh, yeah, oh, within this series, I'm going to show you how to set up a DHCP server and a NAT server. Yeah, the NAT, as I've said, helps to translate the internal IP address to an external public IP address. Mm, uh, not uh, private IP addresses inside the LAN cannot use their IP address on the internet because they are not unique. You get? Because remember, every LAN of every corporation, of every home, of every business is similar. You get? Because we uh, on the LANs we are utilizing the same IP addresses. But remember, it's a LAN local area network. It's it isn't connected to the internet. You get? Yeah, uh, I've said the uh, private IP address inside the LAN cannot use the uh, IP address on the internet because they are not unique. Every LAN uses basically the same IP address inside their network. Okay. Um, so now let's look at how the NAT device process uh, uh, these requests. Um, the NAT device accepts requests to traverse the internet from an IP machine from an internal machine. It then records the machine's IP address in a table and converts the IP addresses to external IP address of the router. Okay? Um, when the packet returns from its destination, the NAT device looks into the saved table of the original request. It forwards the packet to the internal IP addresses of the system that made the original request within the LAN. When working properly, the individual system and users don't realize this translation is taking place you okay? because for us we just uh, like uh, we just make a request like uh, Abram IT okay like that once you make the request there is a translation from my uh, from my uh, local uh, IP address to this uh, public IP address. You get? Mm. 
I should be. What is my name? What is my name? Abramaiti. Okay. Let me see. Alright. Yeah, there is a translation there. I'm looking for my name. Alright, yeah. As you can see. Um yeah, this is Google knows my name. Once you type in my name, this this is the first link. Okay. Mm, don't uh, don't piss off. Yeah, this is just yes, Google. If you want uh, Google to know your name, do some cool stuff. Yeah, no, these are not my images. I don't think that these are my images. No, but this is this is it. LNS Training Consort, as you can see. Now let me see. I just support. Yeah, and this is still me. The first two links are my names. Um. Yeah, and as you can see, still this is my name on LinkedIn. Um, let me see. So, no, I don't know about this one. And on GitHub, still this. Okay, and on, no, this is not my Twitter account. Yeah, as you can see, once you type my name, my link is the first on Google. Yeah, so I think uh, Google is doing a. I'm doing a very good job. All right, let's proceed. Yeah, this is actually this is how uh, the NAT server processes the request we make to it. Mm. <coughs> All right, as you can see, this the image here. And these are private machines. You get, and uh, we have the NAT server. Uh, and uh, within this this device, the NAT and the router is within the same machine. Okay, so all it does. We are doing. Uh, we have the same IP addresses here. That is ten, ten. You get the two. You get. But once we decide to connect to the internet, the NAT or the router has the job of translating this IP address to its own public-facing uh, external IP addresses, and its external IP address is two. Uh, 207.3.3.10.131 uh, yeah so you can see here now uh, the request is using uh, the request we made from here is using a public IP address you get and this is it but once we we get the, the feedback you get it will come here and not we look at the table it created for these uh, uh, private IP addresses you get to translate this request from uh, this IP address to the local IP address and that is the job of the NAT router you get all right all right guys uh, this is the end of uh, this uh, tutorial this lesson but please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like our video all right see you next time guys I'm going to upload this right now and uh, don't forget, we provide some services, that is electronics repair. Yeah, we, pro we provide the hyper, uh, sorry, IT support, that is cyber security, cloud computing, uh, and networking, programming. And uh, we provide some software development services, that is mobile, web, desktop. Yeah, and one place. Don't forget to check out our socials if you want to contact us directly, call this number. And on WhatsApp, we use this number on Twitter, on YouTube as usual, on GitHub, and on LinkedIn. I don't know, uh, I forget. The, the, uh, on LinkedIn, it's LNS, LNL Training Consult. Alright, guys, see you next time.